What's up guys? We're here with an aggressive dog that's lunged at a few people and even attempted to bite someone through the muzzle. We're over here to teach Bettina and Riley how to have nice, safe guest greetings. That way, the guest greetings go smooth and calmly rather than something that could be a little bit more stressful. Tune in, watch the techniques, and I look forward to helping you have a noble dog. Talk to me, Bettina, how, how can I help you today? What, what's been going on? What are some things I can help out with? Sure, well, the biggest problem is she doesn't wanna let anybody in the house um, who she doesn't know. Mm -hmm. And there's only a few people she'll let in. And um, she just seems to become kind of aggressive mm. and, and territorial mm -hmm. in the house. Fine out in public, but the house seems to be a problem. Okay, okay. And what would be like in a dream situation? What would it look like? like oh, dream situation would be, I answer the door, I say, come in and, and she's fine with people coming in. Sounds like Riley, she's pretty good on a leash. You know, you can walk by dogs, she's great. You can take her to the dog park, beach, she's great. And she's even good with people like outside on walks, like mm -hmm. totally fine. Yeah. But there's just something that goes on when it comes to being inside of a building, when people come into your personal space, especially, you know, and they come and say hi. Yes. Um, so it sounds like the biggest thing you would benefit from is kind of like what we're doing today. Right. Having exactly. guests over, having guests over, having her um, be good with that type of stuff. Absolutely. Okay, perfect. Key in dog training is you want to think about it from proactive and reactive. So proactive is what can we do well when nothing bad's happening to ensure that it stays good. Mm -hmm. And then reactive is what do we do when something bad is happening right away. For today, we're going to be typically focusing on more of the reactive training because I'm coming over, things are gonna be happening, we're gonna to have to react to certain situations. Mm -hmm. But for you to get that everlasting change that you're looking for, it's gonna come from the proactive training. So I'm gonna show you how to address the symptom. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, I have a headache. Okay, great, take the Advil. That's what we're doing today, we're taking Advil. But the proactive training is like diet, sleep, exercise, and nutrition. Okay. You know, so that's what's gonna take it long term. Now, from a proactive standpoint, biggest thing I found that works is just using the dog's daily food for training. What that means is that you don't put their food in a food bowl for 90 to 120 days. I know that's a lot, you know, I know that's a lot of, of time to do it. But the thing is, we wanna get her to want to change because if she wants to change, then we don't have to supervise her, we don't have to worry about things mm -hmm. because she wants to do it inherently. But if we don't use the food for training, then we're typically forcing the dog to change. And it's kind of like a kid that's forced to play piano. How many of those kids still play piano. Right. Not too many, right? Not me. Right, okay. yeah. What I'm gonna advise that we do is that we tie her up to the uh, bed most of the day. Um, you know, if she can't handle it and she's really struggling and you're trying and stuff, you can have her tied up next to you, but we really wanna limit her freedom. Okay. Um, almost all of the dog's negative behaviors stem from giving the dog unearned affection and allowing the dog to come into our personal space without permission. Mm. What happens is they feel that they need to go after someone because they don't feel secure and moving away, you know? Mm -hmm. And so they don't feel secure moving away, so they get the other person to move away. Uh-huh, right. That's where it all stems from. Okay. And if we teach her to love going to that raised dog bed, then in the future, if we say, get out of my personal space, she at least knows where to go. Mm -hmm. Okay. But if I was to come in here, which if I was to come here and say, oh, kick her out of your personal space, she would most likely kind of get sad and mm -hmm. confused because she's like, I don't know where to go. I'm lost. I don't mm -hmm. know what to do. And they can figure it out, but it's just so much easier if I'm like, tie her up, teach her the bed's awesome. And then if you have a guest over and the guest is going to sit right here and you say, out, she'll run over to find a dog bed. Okay. Because she's like, oh, I can get rewarded this way. Mm -hmm. That's just what I found. Okay. I know that she's trained on a muzzle, so that's great. Mm -hmm. um, I know she hasn't bitten anybody yet, but I know that there's been some warning signs that it could happen. Right. Being that she has displayed the potential of biting, even though she hasn't, I'd advise that we keep her on the muzzle no matter how good we feel about the situation. Just because like our experience before, the person was here for a while and things were going well and just some random erratic movement where they got up to answer the door and something happened. Right. You never know what's gonna happen, you know? And I know you don't have guests over all the time, but when they are over, I would advise that we just keep it on no matter how good she's feeling. Mm -hmm. okay. um, just because dog training is a skills-based business. 
it's kind of like riding a bike. Mm -hmm. It would be unrealistic for me to say that um, after my bike training program, you'll never fall on a bike ever again. Now for the not so fun part, which is the reactive part of training, uh -huh. that's reacting to the dog when they're doing something negative. So if it's like teaching sit, down, calm, go to your dog bed, all those fun things, mm -hmm. you're gonna be slow and patient and gentle. I like to describe corrections in dog training like cooking with salt. You can always add more later, but you can't take it back. But when it comes to behavior, like barking, um, lunging, dangerous behaviors, you want to correct it so hard the first time that the dog never does it again. Okay. The reality is it will affect the trust with the dog. It will. You know, they will be less trusting temporarily. Your goal is to try to outweigh the corrections to the positive five to 10 to one. That's always the goal. That's why we use the food for training. We do a hundred rewards on the dog bed two times a day. That's 200, 200 positive experiences. Maybe we have to do something negative once every three days, or if you don't have a person over all the time, maybe once every two weeks, uh -huh. you know, and now you've gotten 2000 positive experiences and one negative, you're going to far outweigh it. Okay. It's kind of like a trust and respect bank account. So every time you do the food, your trust bank account grows. Every time you do something reactive, correctionary, your respect bank account grows and your trust drops and then you got to kind of rebuild it. Okay. So we're trying to keep it going like this. Mm -hmm. It's not just respects going up, but then the trust keeps falling. Because mm -hmm. if you keep reacting without doing the food training, uh, you can go bankrupt. Okay. From a reactionary standpoint, we have to do a correction that the dog finds intolerable. That doesn't mean something physical. It just means something that the dog finds intolerable that won't do it again. Okay. Perfect. All right. Awesome. Let's get it done. Okay. Perfect. All right. Awesome. Key is correction, direction, then affection. So when she's at the front door, we're gonna be correcting. Okay. Then when she's calm, we're gonna be directing. Okay. Um, again, use the food and train this in a proactive way, but I just wanna show you something that we can get you some immediate results today. Okay. So what I want you to do is just use the direction towards the bed. This is real gentle. Okay. Nothing too hard, just kinda of gently pull me over towards the bed, and as soon as I take a step, relax. Okay. Yes, excellent. Perfect. Yep, exactly, okay. exactly. And then if you want her to get off the bed, you just say free or something like that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect, perfect. All right, so we'll do that again. Okay. Uh, let's do it one more time. Boom, awesome. Boom, awesome. And then you just clip her on. Okay. You just clip her onto this leash. Uh huh. We'll keep her on this one just okay. in case we need to walk around or something. But sure. that's what I would do. Okay. Now I want to show you the correction one. Okay. So um, just walk, walk backwards and just kind of yank the leash hard. There you go. Yep. Yep, you got it. Okay. So that's kind of what I'm looking for. Okay. We'll have you get her on the leash. Make sure the prongs fit really high. Okay. Make sure you have the carabiner on there. Um, I'm going to knock on the door. Take your sweet time. Okay. You know, I don't care if it takes you 10 minutes to get to the front door. Just walk. And if you start to see her alert, walk back, yank. Wait, if I start to see her alert to the door? Yeah, just say done. And, and bring her back to the bed before I answer? No, no, no. Just walk. Mm -hmm. Just start walking towards the door. Uh -huh. if you start if she starts looking alert. Uh-huh. She will. As soon as she looks alert, I want you to say, done. If all of a sudden she looks totally calm and relaxed, good. Reward. If she doesn't look calm and relaxed, no. Friendly. Walk back, yank, look at her behavior. If her behavior is still like alert, walk back, yank. Walk back, yank. And then get a little closer and keep walking back and doing that. Okay. Until she's totally calm. Right now, we're not going to worry about food because okay. it's going to be just too much to think about. Right. But in a real life situation, when you walk back and yank and she's like, why did you do that? Mm -hmm. You want to be like, come food. Because oh, uh -huh. then she's like, yank. What is that supposed to mean? Come food. Mm -hmm. Yank. What does that mean? Come food. Mm -hmm. So that way, by the time that you yank in the future, she sees the leash and the prong as a positive thing. That's a communication tool, not just a corrective thing. That way she's like, oh, leash means come food. Uh -huh. Leash there means come food. Okay. Pull up, sit, come f sit food, you know, Great. so she understands that. Okay. Good, walk back, yank. Yep, oh yeah, she's a good dog. She's a really good dog. So walk closer towards me. There you go, walk away. Good, yank. Excellent job, give her some love. 
good girl. Give her some love. Riley. That's fantastic. You're doing amazing. Bettina, you're doing great. Okay. You're doing great. You look amazing. She's a great dog. She is a really she's good dog. She's a really dog. good dog. I know. Yeah, she's a really good dog. So walk forwards. You look good. Walk back. Yank. Good. Love. Good girl. Awesome. Then go love again. Good girl. You're doing amazing. Okay. Literally perfect. Go forwards. You look great. Get a little bit closer to us. Perfect. Walk back. Yank. Oh, uh, no. She followed you. So then love. Okay. Then love. Yep. You only want to yank if she's staring or looking, okay. you know, aggressive. Okay. So let's go forwards. Let's go forwards. Keep going forwards. Keep going forwards. Keep going forwards. Walk back quickly. Yeah. Oh, but try not to turn around. Oh. Moonwalk. Oh, okay. So you can keep an eye on her. Okay. If she's looking at me weird, boom. Oh, okay. If she's looking calm, okay. then yay! So you look good, keep an eye on her, walk back, love. Good girl. Amazing. You look fantastic. Uh, walk her over to the bed, please. Okay. Put her on the bed. Okay. So we're good. Walk back in, reward. Good girl. Uh, nice and calm, please, with the rewards. Good girl. You want to reward like it's bedtime story voice. Okay. Surprise. She's growling now. Yes, yeah, she so is. So say no. No. And walk over. Grab the leash calmly. With this leash? Yep, hard yank. Uh, that, that wasn't hard. Not even close. Okay. Drop the leash. Walk away. And now let's try to get five rewards in before she growls again. Five. Positive experiences. Walk over, pet her. There you go. Awesome. This is very subtle, but if you pet her underneath the chin, it'll build her confidence up. Oh, okay. So that's just a little thing. It'll okay. raise her spirits up. The petting down. There you go. Perfect. You look good. Yep. And I know it's kind of weird, but then, yep. Let's try to do it a few more times. You look good. Perfect. You can come over this way. Come over this way. Boom. Bam. But that's kind of the gist. You really don't want people kind of interacting with her. Biggest thing that's gonna help you with this is just keep her tied up. Uh -huh. Get her used to being tied up so it's not just like a random thing. Uh -huh. You've already done a lot of positive stuff. Mm -hmm. So you're good. It's not the time to necessarily be bringing out the food. Go over and pet. Good girl. But you kind of see how that works. Uh -huh. What you can do if you wanna be extra cautious is you figure out where her length is with that and you can put like a little bit of tape on the ground. Uh-huh. So then you can be like, just don't come this close. For her? For people. Oh, for people. Oh, I see. Uh -huh. Yeah, so you're yeah, just like, yeah. you will never get bit if you do not get that close. Right, right. You know? So then people, it just gives people peace of mind. Uh-huh. Because then they can just walk and they're like, oh, right. I'm not going to get bit. Mm -hmm. It's like a lion with a cage. Like, you have the cage. Yeah. You're like, oh, I'm fine. Uh -huh. If I go in the cage, I'll probably not be fine. But if I'm on the other side of the cage, I'm okay. Uh-huh. So it gives people that peace of mind. Okay. Biggest thing is just going to be having people ignore her. Right. Now that we addressed the immediate symptom, which was her barking and growling at us, and she's already good on the bed, we've already done some proactive training with that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to throw the food first off to see if she's mentally relaxed enough to eat, and second off to create our experience as a more positive experience. We're going to go like this, throw the food, boom. And then when she's relaxed, what we're going to do is I'm going to take a step closer. And then if she growls, Bettina's going to say no and yank. I'm going to be doing the food. So let's take a step closer. Good. Boom. Now, a lot of the times I say don't talk, but in this situation, I am saying to talk because I'm trying to get her to associate my voice as something positive. Now, in our situation, a lot of times when we're talking, we're either overly excited or frustrated. So I don't want us to talk in those situations. Now, if you wouldn't mind, Bettina, if you wouldn't mind just going and grabbing the leash really quick, you can sure. walk over and pet her and then grab the leash. The, the, there we go. Tell her free for a second after okay. she starts chewing it. And I want you free. to walk. Perfect. So that's, that's as far as she can get to me. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So like right, if I, good job. See that? Now we're good. So I saw that if, as long as I don't cross that black line, uh -huh. I'm not going to get bit. Right. So now... Perfect. There you go. And you can drop the leash. She's fine. Okay. Um, I just wanted to get the measurement. Okay. You know, oh, so okay. now I know I can uh -huh. stand literally right here. Uh huh. Like this. And do it. Uh huh. 
Now, if you want, you can actually stand kind of close to her. Uh -huh. Get close to her. Uh -huh. Yep, actually pick up the leash just in case she does growl or something so you can actually effectively uh -huh. correct. Okay. Keep it nice and loose. Nope, you see how you tightened up the leash? That's not what we want to do. Keep it nice and loose. And look, I'm kind of coming up uh -huh. and simulating approaching you. Right. You see that? But I know that I'm not going to get bit or right. anything because even if she lunged at me out of nowhere as hard as she could, I'm safe right here. Uh huh. There we go. So come right here up to the line. Come right up to the line. Perfect. Now we'll do the same deal. Now I'm going to try and run away and she's probably going to lunge at me. Okay. See, she tries to get over here. Boom. See, auto corrected. Bam. That's why we use the tie out. Okay. You see how that works? Uh huh. And then negative from the leash, boom, right into a positive. Uh huh. Awesome. You kind of got the idea? Yeah. Yeah. And uh -huh. you see how the tie out, she already is doing pretty good with that. Uh huh. You know, she's doing, she's doing pretty darn good with that. Yeah. Biggest thing also too that we want to work on is the down. But uh, what I want you to do is grab the black leash. You can uh -huh. give me the food. You don't need the food for right now. Okay. Um, and then what I want you to do is shorten up the black leash quite a bit. Just make sure no matter what, I'm not going to get bit. Uh -huh. Unclip her from the pink one. Make sure you have a, definitely have a good grip on there because as soon as you unclip it, she might go for me. Okay. Excellent. Tell her free. Start walking forwards. Okay. Make, say free. Free. Walk forward. Stop right there. So what I want you to do is gently pull her into the sit. Pull up. Gently pull up into the sit. Pull over into your face. Towards your face, not towards the bed. Okay, that's fine. That's why we're working on it. Okay. No problem. Okay. So what I want you to do is tell her free and you're going to pull up towards your face. Okay. Tell her free. Free. Gently pull towards your face. Not, that's not up towards your face. That's not up towards your face. You were going like this. I want it like this. Oh, closer this, to my body. No, like up, like literally at your eyeball. Okay, it's fine now. It's too late now. Let me put her back on the bed. Nope. nope. We're not doing the bed anymore. We're doing new training. Because you're not going to have the bed at a restaurant. Right. Tell her, let's go. Back up. Just say, let's go. Let's go. Back up a little bit. Now gently pull the leash towards your face. Relax the leash. Boom. Okay. See that? Uh-huh. That's how you get her to sit. Okay. okay. And I don't say anything. No I words. Just do it. Yep. Okay. So gently pull her into the sit when she's done chewing. Because when you go to a restaurant, how nice would it be if you just gently pulled her into a sit? Right. Gently pulled her into a down and she didn't lunge at anyone. Gently up, a little bit gentler than that. Okay. Remember, we're training, we're not correcting. Okay. In like a couple weeks, you'd be like, sit, and if she doesn't respond, no, wham. Mm -hmm. Perfect. You see how she's responding though? Uh-huh. She's yeah. doing great. Yeah. So what I want you to do is tell her, let's go, walk towards me. Let's go. Stop, gently pull up towards your face. Relax. Yep, you gotta do a lot gentler. Okay. She's a sensitive dog. Yeah, she doesn't she need it. Sensitive. Yeah, she's very sensitive. So uh -huh. she doesn't need it that hard, and okay. we're not trying to correct. We're trying to educate. I'm going to show you what to do. Gently pull up towards your face again. Flawless. That's exactly okay. how I want it to look. Okay. Look what you got. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's exactly how I want mm -hmm. it to look. I want to work on the down a little bit. Okay. She's doing pretty darn good, but this is the progression. So first okay. progression is bed. Uh-huh. Second progression is remove the bed and have her do that the whole time. Okay. Right now, she gets off the bed, she's kind of getting pulled and going back. Right. But the next one is, if she gets up, you're pulling her back down. Okay. Because in the restaurant, you're not gonna w either want to have a dog bed with you or have one. Tell her free. Free. Walk back a little bit. Okay, now what I want you to do is, step on the leash right now. Try to step on the leash down. Uh-huh, to pull her down. Yeah, she knows, she's doing a great job with it right now. Uh -huh. She is. Uh-huh. I want her to know that it, uh, the physical as well. Uh-huh. So I want her to know that she's physically supposed to lay down. Okay. Because in a restaurant, if she's not laying down and you say down, it's not responding, you want to be able to step on the leash and just have her drop. Uh-huh. But do it with passion. Uh-huh. That's the key. It's like, oh, I'm pulling and I'm getting food. Right. Tell her free. Free. Walk towards me. Try to keep that leash. Now, uh, yep, tell her free. Get free. her a little bit closer. Nice. Gently pull up. Step on the leash quickly. Nice. Excellent. <laughs> Good job. You see how it makes it more of a game for her? Uh -huh. She's like, oh, this is fun. This uh -huh. guy comes over, we do some cool stuff. Make sure your foot's really strongly pressing onto that leash. Uh -huh. Try to like, make sure, yeah, there you go. Yeah, make sure no matter what, she's not gonna be able to pull it. Uh -huh. So, yep, there you go. And if you need to, just back away. But just by tying her up, she's not, she's a very nervous, uh -huh. sensitive, sweet dog. Uh -huh. She is. She doesn't wanna be in a leadership role. So when you tell her you're not in the leadership roles, you saw how easy she adjusted. 
I'm gonna use the bonker to pet her. I'm not gonna bonk her, but I'm just gonna use it as like a safety device to pet her. Okay. And if she lunges or something, I'm not gonna bonk her. That would make it like way worse. Okay. I'm just using it as just a safety device to simulate petting. Okay. Are you a good girl? Mm -hmm. I, I pull your foot back a little bit, keep it on the ground, kind of slide that leash back, keep sliding it back, keep sliding it back. There you go, see how that's gonna protect me more? Right, yes. Yeah. She's using her nose, which is really good. Oh, okay. It's curiosity, not intensity. Uh-huh, oh. The fact that she's eating means she feels relaxed. Uh-huh. If I'm afraid for my life, I'm not gonna eat. Right, yeah. exactly. That's all we're doing right now. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm breaking them apart, but I like how it's big, it's flat, it's not uh -huh. gonna roll around. And it's easy to identify. Okay. And she's hyped out of her mind. She loves this. Yeah, so I'm I know, not. I know. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> now, no yank, hard yank. Now, hard yank. No. No, but you got to yank like eight times harder than that. Okay. You got to make her yelp when you yank on the leash. Okay. If you don't make her yelp, you're never gonna get the result. Okay. Because now it's like, oh, I barely, I barely got tugged at all. Now he's gonna give me eight more pieces. So mm -hmm. now it's, now it's, oh, get, gets food, and then I. Barely get tugged and more food. Mm -hmm. It needs okay. to be like, oh my God, why the heck would I ever even think about doing that uh -huh. when I have the other alternatives? So you need to be like, no, and just bam. Okay. So actually just tell her free, tie her back up, okay. pull her on, and then Hook double clip. No, 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 please keep both of them on there. There you go. Now you use the black one. So now you're going to be more composed. Okay. Tell her free and walk her towards me a little free? bit. Walk her towards me a little bit. Free. Yep, there you go. There you go. And then tell her down. Down. There you go. And then stay right there. Perfect. Keep the leash loose. Keep your arm relaxed. There you go. So now, but you see how I know my range now? Uh-huh. I'm going to drop it right here, see if she can get that. Let me see. So yes, yeah, she can get that. So now I know I'm not going to put my foot like, that's the closest I'm going to get my foot. Now, obviously you don't have to do this, but I'm trying to figure out her threshold right. and also help you. Mm -hmm. But you see how this is pretty threatening mm -hmm. for her, you know? Yeah. Random stranger coming up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that is one of the things that she doesn't like is for strangers to pet her on the top of the head. And initially she didn't like me to do that either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. but that's why we're doing it, just uh -huh. to get her used to it. Yeah. In case for the weird situation that happens, mm -hmm. you know that you're safe. Did she growl? No. Good. Yep. All right, Bettina, how'd you feel about the session? It was great. Yeah, she's doing really well. Awesome. Awesome. What were some of your takeaways from the training? Well, I mean, I learned how to use the prong collar, um, learned how to pull up on it hard. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, I mean, I think the prong collar has kind of been amazing with me. Yeah. Yeah, it makes a big difference. What are some of the proactive things that you're going to be doing after the training? Uh, not free feeding her. Yay, uh, <laughs> let's go, let's go. Uh, always leaving her on her bed, with, you know, tied up. Mm -hmm. um, and not letting her just roam free. Yes. Um, I think those are the basic things. Yeah, absolutely. And you're totally going to be able to like love on her and pet her, just make sure it's earned. Yeah. The only reason we had the success that we did today is because you did some training with the bed. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you started the food training. Right. If you didn't do the food training mm -hmm. and you didn't do the bed before we talked, uh -huh. I mean, before we met today, no way. She would have been good. Uh -huh. She would have been freaking out. Because she's like, I don't know how to be good. Uh -huh. right. I have no idea. Mm -hmm. But you did it. So she's like, oh, I can get rewarded with the chicken. Uh -huh. Oh, I understand I'm supposed to be on the bed. Right. By the time she got off to try and get the food, barely felt the leash, she ran right back to the bed. Mm -hmm. Thanks for tuning in guys and sharing Bettina and Riley's progress. As you can see, she's a really good dog, just needs a little bit of guidance. Biggest things, biggest takeaways guys, almost all aggression stems from the dog being allowed to come into your personal space without permission, as well as unearned affection. The simple tie out by keeping the dog tied up to the bed, the simple motivation factor of using the dog's rewards for training are gonna be what's necessary to get her to be going from aggressive to agreeable. With the daily food, we're building her confidence, we're getting her to understand what she's supposed to do, and then with the tie-out, we're preventing her from learning any negative behaviors. 
Again, prevention before intervention. Remember guys, use the dog's daily food for training. Don't be afraid to use the tie out and I look forward to helping you with your noble dog.